Hey, I'm Mike. And I'm Mitch. And today on the Wacky Workshop, we ask how do birds perch on a power line without getting electrocuted? Hmm. Hang on. We're on a power line. Oh. Oh, 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 don't move. Oh. Don't stop moving. Stop oh. moving. Whoa. Whoa. Let's get this straight. We do a lot of wacky things on the Wacky Workshop. But going near power lines isn't wacky, it's stupid. So we won't be doing anything with real power lines. <gasps> Instead, we built this fake power line. The only electricity running through this thing is from itty bitty batteries. So, all we need now is some birds to sit on this. <laughs> Oh, you! No! On second thought, testing things with animals is not how we roll. Instead, we'll be using rock melons, which look a little like Mr. Potato Head. Oh, and he's past his usual date, of course. Here's a theory. An electrical current, that's electricity that's moving, flows along this power line down the rock melon's leg, circulates the body, goes back up the leg, and carries on the power line. Or the current could just move along this metal wire, ignoring the rock melon altogether. We're going to be testing for electrical current using these explosive charges. Right, Mr. Safety Officer? These are used in special effects. If you pass an electric current through them, they go bang. In three, two, one, fire in the hole! Now, while our mini power lines are turned off, our safety officer is going to rig up one of our explosives into the stunned rock melon, and if an electric current passes through it, it will explode. Boom! Are you ready, Mr. Safety Officer? Ready. In three, two, one, fire the hole! Pooh, nothing happened. Well, it's not supposed to, remember? Yes, just like we expected, the current kept flowing through the wire. It did not go through the stunt melon, so it didn't trigger the explosive charge. But what happens when we make our stunt melon the easiest path for the current to flow through? Now there's a break in the power line. I wonder where the current's gonna go. Fire in the hole in three, two, one. The answer is, the current will flow through the melon. But wait, there's more. Where the current really wants to go is right into the ground. If you become part of that pathway, say because you're touching something metal to a power line, or by even flying a kite into a power line, the result will be really nasty. And so, to sum it up, we think the reason birds on power lines don't get electrocuted is that it's easier for the electric current to just keep flowing through the wire than to go through the bird. But if the bird forms part of the pathway for the current, it's a different story. Ah, you've been watching the Wacky Workshop. I'm Mitch. And I'm Mike. We'll see you next time. Oh, I think I, think I just pooped on someone. <laughs> <laughs>